This is an advertisement from one of the leading commercial genetic testing companies in the United States. For under $100, it can tell you where your ancestry likely originated. It can also link you with potential relatives who share similar DNA. History buff Luke Vanderlinden was sold right away and signed up with competitor Ancestry.com. When I was a kid, I met a great, great aunt who had a, a photocopy of a mimeograph of a typed out verbal letter that uh, claimed that we are descended from President John Adams. I've yet to verify that, but back then it was very hard to do genealogy. You had to mail off for birth certificates and go to libraries and stuff. Now it's easy. Ease of use and affordability have helped make DNA testing kits very popular. Millions have signed up for them. As a trainer, I'm interested in knowing the genetic makeup of the dog I'm working with. There are even genetic kits for dogs. Vanderlinden met his fifth cousin thanks to the test. They share fourth great grandparents. She lives in the state of Wisconsin. I'm slowly getting to meet these folks all around the country who I'm fifth cousins, third cousins, eighth cousins with. Uh, it's kind of interesting just to see, you know, we have this shared genealogical ancestor, but our lives have turned out to be very different. Carolyn Newhouse is a bioethicist. She says consumer DNA testing kits can be a lot of fun, but there are risks. Companies can sell your DNA to third parties with your consent. Even if you don't consent, there's always the risk of hacking. It's aggregated and anonymized, and that's supposed to be sort of enough of a protection, and in most cases it is. But if someone really wanted to re-identify you, even with that really metadata information, they probably could. And what could be done with that information is the worry. In 2008, the U.S. Congress passed a law prohibiting the use of DNA to discriminate in the areas of employment and health insurance. But it didn't include long-term care or disability insurance. Nevertheless, Vanderlinden isn't concerned. I don't think anybody is really interested in me and my data personally. Um, I do think law will have to adapt, but having information out there both as an individual and as a group for society, I think is probably a net positive. Newhouse agrees, but says consumers should read the fine print before spitting into a vial. Karina Huber, CGTN, New York.